What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York, invading California for NAM 2020, and we are here with High Road to Hero. Yeah, Thank you so what's much for up? Your time. What's up, brother? How you doing? Thanks for having me. Doing great. It's a crazy time here at NAM, right? Yeah, man. Too many people. It's crazy. It's insane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I know that you're working on some new music right now. Are you just doing like a direct continuation of what we heard on Flag Channel, or do you think that this is like a new start or a new entity? Oh, I feel like it's a new start. I'm coming. It's like heavy and crazy. You know what I'm saying? Got a little bit of storylines going in my music in this new music coming soon and i love where it's going man it's gonna be crazy heavy because i thought crazy. black channel was pretty Wait, oh yeah, like, yeah i got heavier <laughs> you yeah. know what i'm saying so i like to have music where when i go live on stage i can just go crazy yeah you know if i don't feel that energy then i don't think it's right and with flag channel the energy was there and so now i just want to take it up another notch so awesome one thing I was curious about is for you uh, with your lyrics, do you need to hear music to come up with lyrics or is there a time where you, maybe you have a concept in mind and that could help determine the music now, itself? I got to hear the music. I'm one of the people who got to hear the music. Like some people can sit there and just write. Yeah. You know, I might have an idea and I'll write it down, but I got to hear the music because the music is going to give me the mood and the subject, you know, depends on what they play and how they play it. Like an idea just come in my head. And okay. you know, most of my stuff is really just about telling the truth and telling it like it is anyway. So it ain't hard for me to yeah. come up with the subject. Well, you just let me into my next question, because can your lyrics be open to interpretation or do you like to maybe engage the listener into what you're singing about? No, I like it to be open to interpretation, but at the same time, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't like to choose sides, per se. You get what I'm saying? I like the person to hear it and be like, OK, I understand where you're coming from, but I don't know what's his full on position in that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Almost like how South Park does TV shows. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, of South yeah, Park that's how I consider hero, my sure. music. You know, South Park doesn't really choose a side. It's just kind of showing everything for what it is. That's, a, that's probably the best analogy. Yeah, I've ever man, heard. that's how I'd like to make my music. Yeah. One thing I've always liked to ask people, especially for your side, you know, I interviewed a Jelly Roll uh, back in uh, Louder Than Life. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, I, I always feel, you know, like, when. Do you portray, is music like a way of portraying who you are? Like is High Road a hero almost like a character that you portray or is music like a direct extension of who you are? Oh man, I'd say it's like an extension somewhat per se because I mean I'm me at the same time, you know? So it's not like it's not like how, you know, a rapper would be like a gangster when he rapping and yeah. and he fake when he <laughs> when he not rapping, you get what I'm saying? But it's, it's me 24-7, just the regular me just not as turned up. You okay. get what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, even when I speak right now, you see I'm just chill. But yeah. when I'm on stage, I'm loud and crazy and in your face and angry. Like, people are uh, surprised that I'm not angry all the time or something. You know? I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I was yeah. pretty surprised. And I smile stuff. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so. There you go. Nothing wrong with smiling. Yeah, but, you know, when you do music like that, you, like, almost take on a certain energy. Like, it's like with Rain Man kind of thing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just, I just fall into that of the what's the song at the moment because that's how I felt. You know. So in order to get inspired to write, like, do you need to put yourself in a certain element for inspiration to come, or does inspiration it just automatically just, just comes come. out of nowhere? Yeah, especially if the music good, it's just gonna come. You know, so I can't never force anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I might have a cool beat, and sometimes a beat is too cool. You know, so a song is too cool, then you overthink. Yeah. So I like it to just come naturally. You get what I'm saying? So if I have a song that I'm not thinking of naturally at the moment, I'll step away from it. Give it some time, come back to it, and you hear brand new things. Very interesting. Yeah. And I'd imagine, like, here always here comes the hardest question in the whole interview. Yeah, yeah. How do you know when a song is done? It's never done, man. <laughs> it's never done. It's never complete, really. You could always hear something you want to change, something you should have done. But you just got to be positive and, like, okay, I'm feeling good at this moment. Okay. At that time, like, cool. But then I hear stuff in Flag Channel. I'd be like, damn, I should have said that word instead. <laughs> you know, it yeah. just happens. So... It's like, you know, it just, you're making a masterpiece at that moment and you got to leave it like that. Yeah. Well, when it comes to playing live versus like in the studio or in like the vocal booth, is it a different energy than when you're in front of an audience than when you're in oh, like the Oh, totally studio? different. I try to bring the live energy to the album. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard if you don't have the people in front of you, your adrenaline going. Yeah. So I try to bring that. So that's why I like that though, because when I put it on record, it's that feeling of, you know what I'm saying, that hardcore energy that I'm trying to put out. But then when I bring it to you live, it's a whole other extension that I can't even match. You get what I'm saying? So the live experience is always going to be better than just listening to it in the track. You get what I'm saying? So it makes you want to come 
check me out live. Yeah, I've noticed with Flag Channel, there was almost like a rawness to it. Like it was kind yeah. of atmospheric in a way. Because so. I wanted, that's the whole live feel I wanted to give to it, man. So I'm glad you, you, you got that. Because I want to, you know, it's not like when I'm in the studio, I'm running around with the mic and rapping my lyrics and stuff like that. So I want to give it a vibe like that. But there's nothing compared to when I'm on stage with the mic running around, barely breathing, trying to do your words with emotion. It just comes out totally different. Mm -hmm. And I'd imagine collaborating with other musicians ha has to teach you new things as well. Like when you collaborate. Oh, I learn with all friends, the like time. Concrete Dream. Yeah, oh, yeah. Concrete Dream. What up? Yeah. Now I'm learning all the time, man. It's just, you know, people, they got certain ways they do things, you know, certain ways they create music. And you're always going to learn more and more and more. You're never going to, it's never going to stop. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, a, every, it's a process. You see how people's different workflows, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, some people write without the music. I write with the music. I see how some people set up their tracks and Pro Tools, or some people use Logic, some people do this. They got all kind of different ways. I'm just sitting back like, wow, yeah. learning, you know? Yeah. Well, I think the process of creating art is one of the things that helps an artist develop their own identity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, know I, like, and I love it doing rock music because you just got to push yourself even harder, you know? Hip-hop, I love hip-hop, but, you know, it's just I can make a beat in fucking two minutes. <laughs> you know, and then rap to it, and then, then go to another song like that. But rock, you can't make a track in two minutes. You get what Can you rap to blast beats, like to like a 320 BPM track? Oh yeah, I tried that already. Yeah, It'd be fucking insane though. Know, you gotta slow it down, or you just try to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You, every word has to be like one syllable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And are you ever worried that sometimes you have like the perfect words or lyrics written, and then seeing how they go like one syllable over the arrangement or something like that? Oh nah. My thing is. I say so much cool stuff, I just be wondering if people get it yeah. sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I have so many dope lines I say, I wonder when people listen to they be like, oh shit, he did that. You get what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I, that's my thing I be wanting. Yeah. And uh, the final question I wanted to ask you is, is like, because kind of like when you going back to like the live energy, but also, you know, there's this famous saying, when you put out a song, it immediately becomes theirs. Yeah. So could somebody else's interpretation of your music maybe uh, change your perspective on how you look at your oh, art? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, I got a song, uh, the one where I say, I hate the way you smile, motherfucker, God yeah. damn. Nobody know who I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to say who I'm talking about because open to interpretation you know what I'm saying he could be talking I could be talking about a damn dog mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, who bit me or something you know but I think that makes it fun and makes it last forever because you know if I name a person or something like that it automatically dates it I don't like to date my music so you're not trying to capture a moment or something nah like that. not at all I don't want to capture a moment like you know people sometimes you know a lot of the old school raps I'll be like 1994 yeah. You timed it already, so you know you, you said 1994. So yeah. now that song is timed in 1994. I don't like the time the music. Yeah, I wanted to keep riding forever. Absolutely, because when I heard Flag Channel, I was like, wow, this reminds me of maybe like 90s new metal, but it also old yeah, school hip hop, sick, and sick. then like maybe some new school stuff. Yeah, well, see, I got influences from everything, man. So that yeah, that definitely. If you listen to my stuff, you could probably hear influences from everywhere. You know, it's like a melting pot of all. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So before we go, I want to thank you so much for your time today. For sure. Thank you, man. Is, yeah. Is there just anything else uh, that you'd like to promote in terms of live performances or new music? This I'll will be uploaded by midnight, so uh, if it hasn't been announced <laughs> here, don't say it. For sure, yeah. Now, I got something dope coming up really soon that I can't announce. But I got Shiprocked coming up, which is going to be insane. You know, me, who else on the Bad Wolves, Asking Alexandria, I think Hailstorm. That's going to be crazy, and that's January 31st. And then I got a dope tour coming up, but it's going to be announced soon. And then, yeah, I'm working on my new album, man. Yeah. I love it. Can you give us a time frame maybe on when we could be expecting it? Or? Oh, nah, man. Hopefully soon. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, man. And I think that's cool that you're doing ship rock. Like, a lot of, like, uh, artists and, like, hip-hop are now, like, playing metal festivals and vice versa. Yeah, so. man. Ship rock is so crazy, man. Those fans are, like, real deal. They don't play around, bro. They'll be at your show. Yeah. When I saw Ice Cube at Loud in the Life, that was the that's craziest crazy. mosh pit, and there were death metal bands playing on that. See, so. that's what I love about rock is, you know, they respect everything if it's good. You know, they respect rap. They respect, you know, whatever, if it's good country. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was on a Disrupt tour. We was playing country music, and all the rockers knew the songs. Yeah. So. Well, I think as long as if it's real, that's what matters. That's what it is, man. I love that. But, so. Hyrule, thank hey, you so much. Me. Everybody. So. Hi, Road to Hero. New music coming very yeah, soon. This man. is Alex from Heavy New York. We'll see you next time. Now, 2020.